Hi friends and welcome. I was always fascinated by how neural networks replicate, at least to an extent, how the human brain works. With the known structure of input, hidden and output layers, AI models achieve functionality similar to our brain, called deep learning, enabling many remarkable technological advancements. In this lecture, we'll be comparing the human brain and neural networks in an attempt to better understand how AI achieves this great functionality, that is deep learning. Finally, as I am not an expert in neuroscience, this discussion will focus on the technological perspective rather than a neuroscientific one. To set the beginning for our lecture, we must keep in mind that neural networks are AI systems modeled after brain functions, drawing inspiration from the complexity and efficiency of the human brain. In this lecture, we'll explore the similarities and differences between these systems. So, let's start with the structure. The brain is a biological organ made up of billions of neurons, that is, specialized cells that transmit signals, interconnected through synapses, that is, junctions where neurons communicate chemically or electrically. Neural networks, on the other hand, are mathematical models composed of artificial neurons organized into layers connected by weights. These artificial systems draw their structural inspiration from the biology of the brain. Both the brain and the neural networks process information hierarchically, that is, step by step, from basic to complex. In the brain, sensory information flows from basic processing areas, such as sensory organs like eyes and ears, to higher order regions for interpretation. Similarly, Neural networks start with an input layer, which mimics sensory inputs by taking raw data, then process it through hidden and output layers to generate meaningful results. For example, in the case of image classification, and more specifically, recognizing a dog, our brain identifies shapes, fur patterns, and movement, concluding it's a dog. Similarly, a neural network processes pixel data detects edges, and finally classifies the image as a dog. The brain gets better at tasks by changing the strength of its connections based on experience, a process called synaptic plasticity. For example, when recognizing a dog, the brain strengthens pathways associated with identifying shapes, fur patterns, and movement, making the task easier over time. Neural networks do something similar by adjusting their weights using algorithms like gradient descent. For instance, in a neural network, recognizing a dog involves progressively refining weights in layers to better detect edges, patterns, and features that distinguish a dog from other objects. In both cases, supervised learning is used in the beginning to teach both humans and the neural networks that these characteristics belong to the dog class, and then both systems improve with practice over time. One remarkable similarity between the human brain and neural networks is their ability to recognize patterns and generalize. For example, when identifying a dog, as mentioned before, the brain processes visual cues like fur texture and shape, drawing on past experiences to conclude it's a dog. Similarly, neural networks analyze pixel data, detect edges and patterns, and classify the image as a dog. The brain's fault tolerance is extraordinary. Even with damage, it can reroute functions to undamaged areas of the brain. We have witnessed many examples of this, such as individuals recovering lost abilities after a stroke. Neural networks exhibit some robustness to noise or missing data, but are less adaptive compared to the brain. Comparing the two systems, it is clear that the brain exhibits superior adaptability. When it comes to multitasking, the brain processes information in parallel, allowing multitasking across different regions. Neural networks also utilize parallelism, particularly in GPUs, to handle vast amounts of data efficiently. While by now we have talked about many similarities between the human brain and neural networks used in AI systems, after all, neural networks were inspired by the human brain, there are also some key differences besides capacity differences. Let's talk about them in the next slide. First of all, the brain is vastly more complex 
learns with limited data and is biological. On the other hand, neural networks are mathematical and require extensive datasets for training. Additionally, the brain adapts dynamically in real time, even with partial information, whereas neural networks require retraining to adjust to new patterns. The brain's biological foundation allows it to integrate sensory and emotional inputs seamlessly, a capability neural networks currently lack. To summarize, the brain and the neural networks share inspiring similarities and fascinating differences. By mimicking the brain's efficiency and adaptability, AI continues to evolve. The journey of bridging this gap is ongoing, driven by advancements in neuroscience and the pursuit of creating more intuitive, adaptable AI systems. Thank you for watching this lecture. I hope you found the subject as exciting as I did. For more insights on AI, automation, databases, and other tech trends, subscribe to my channel on YouTube.